Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm presenting to you a geography lesson with the topic internal land forming processes. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Peter Okumu. So in uh, the subtopic is folding and we, have, we will begin by defining folding as the bending of crustal rocks as a result of earth movements. And then when, the, when there is earth movements on the surface of the earth, uh, rocks tend to bend due to the incoming or the forces that face each other, which are called compressional forces. When the earth, the crustal rocks bend, we form what you can see here, what we call the anticline, which is the top part, and then we have the syncline, which dips in. And then when these features are formed, okay, you, you, you should also notice that uh, the diagram here is a little crooked. Uh, it's not uh, a mistake, but the earth, it shows that the earth's surface is not uniform. So that's why it's a little bit crooked. So when uh, this happens, we form the, this is the anticline, this is the syncline. And then now the top part of the anticline is, the, is called the crest. And then the bottom part or the shallow part is called the trough. <coughs> so, there's the, we have to look at the process of uh, fold, folding formation or fold mountain formation. And then you're told that when rocks are subjected to compressional forces, compressional forces are forces that face or move towards each other. So when rocks, crustal rocks are subjected to compressional forces, uh, we end up, the rocks will bend forming anticlines and synclines. When the syncline is filled with materials from the nearby surrounding. Uh, if you look at this diagram, this is the syncline. When it's filled with materials from uh, the nearby surrounding, it makes the earth crust to sink, forming a huge depression, which is called a geosyncline. So a geosyncline is uh, a bigger syncline. It's not as uh, just the normal syncline after the normal process of folding taking place. So when this, the Compressional forces become intense. You know, we have the, the, the anticline and syncline has form, have formed, but still the compressional forces are continuing to push towards each other. We will end up with wrinkles on the surface of the geosyncline, which will form fold mountains. Now, there is a video that can uh, demonstrate how this process takes place, and it's on YouTube. I think if I click here, we should be able to will be redirected the video so that you can watch and see the process as it takes place. Hi, I'm Emerald Robinson, and in this What Is video, we're going to talk about geology as we try to answer the question, what is a geologic fold? A geologic fold is a rock formation that's been made by flat rocks becoming deformed due to stress and pressure. Folds are created when two plates that make up the Earth's crust collide. As the plates are forced together, they bend, curve, or make jagged patterns in the rock. Although there are many types of folds, we'll discuss three of the most basic, monoclines, anaclines, and synclines. Monoclines are the simplest types of folds. They consist of a dip or drop in an area of flat or sloping rock and look like a single step. All the rocks are found at the bottom of the monocline and the middle ones on its top. If a fold arches away from the earth, it's called an anacline. The top of the arch is called the crest of the anticline. The oldest rocks in an anticline are found at its core or center. Sometimes these older rocks become exposed because the crest erodes away more quickly than the slopes of the arch. If an anticline shape is fairly round, it's called a dome. Finally, if the fold bends down towards the earth, it's known as a syncline. This kind of fold center is called its hinge. Unlike anticlines, synclines have their youngest rocks at the centers, and older rocks at the outsides. The depressions formed by synclines are sometimes called basins. Structures formed by geological folding are found all over the Earth and can be of any size. The Alps in Europe, the Andes in South America, and America's Rocky Mountains are all examples of mountains that have been formed by folding. For thousands of how-to and advice videos on any topic, visit Monkey Seat. Okay, thank you. Uh, that one was demonstrating how we can use, uh, we can embed YouTube into our uh, uh, notes and then use it to inform students. And lastly, 
The last part is uh, types of fold and resultant features. We have uh, symmetrical folds, which are symmetrical. It means that both the limb and the and the dip are uniform and of the same size. Asymmetrical, you'll find that maybe the limb is a little bit crooked, and then overfold is where the limb is totally lying over the uh, the, the the axis. So all these others, you can check them out and then maybe also look at the diagrams that will be there in the books. I've uh, listed here reference page as 10 on KLB book 2. Thank you very much for attending the class today.